Today, we honor veterans, those living and those who are no longer with us. We remember their sacrifices and thank them for our freedom. When many of these brave men and women return home, they can feel lost, emotionally unstable. Some have suffered physical challenges and spiritually many are broken. But a very special organization is helping these veterans heal and find peace. Joining me today from the Wounded Warrior Project are Tracy Farrell, Vice President of Engagement and Physical Health and Wellness, James Herrera, Physical Health and Wellness Director, and Mark Lally, a U.S. Army wounded warrior. Welcome to all of you. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. First, I want to thank all of you for your service because all of you have served. Uh, Tracy, I want to start with you. I was reading here, you served more than 22 years in the U.S. Army. I did. Wow. I joined following the footsteps of my grandfathers and my father and was able to serve for 22 years as military police and then joined Wounded Warrior Project shortly after I transitioned. And now you're giving back. Yes. I love the picture with you and your parents. Mm -hmm. James, you served for four years as well in the Army? I did. My grandfather, father, and two uncles all served during different wartime conflicts, and I felt the call to service as well. We hear so many grandfathers here, which leads me to Mark. Both of your grandfathers served in World War II? Yes, ma'am. I have one in, in, the, in Europe and one in the Pacific. Wow, and look at these great pictures. They inspired you, but I know 9-11 was a turning point for you. What happened? Yes, ma'am. Um, I remember sitting as a 15-year-old watching the footage on TV and seeing everything, everything happening. And I knew this was my Pearl Harbor, so my time to step up and say, we need to take, we need to make sure this doesn't happen again. So you stepped up, you joined, you wanted to serve, and uh, years later, you, if I'm correct, were flying over Italy with your uh, comrades. What happened? Yes, ma'am. Um, flying over Italy, loving it, the mountains, everything was fun. What and war was it, if I may ask? No war, just a uh, peacetime and training mission that time. Okay. Um, and suffered a malfunction and lost control, and we lost um, six of my brothers in an accident. So. Oh, I'm so sorry. So five survived? Yes, ma'am. Including you, of yes, course. Yes, ma'am. You suffered extensive injuries, didn't you? Yes, ma'am, I did. Um, severe head injury, um, over two dozen broken bones, um, speech problems, paralysis, it's gone. Now, I know for that moment, and many months later it was very tough emotionally physically and spiritually for you um, but you go to a tampa veteran hospital and you meet a very special person if i'm correct it's an outreach coordinator for the wounded warrior project what did this person do for you he walked into my room with a, a milkshake because hospital food is not good <laughs> a backpack full of toiletries that i had not didn't have with me from transitions um, and he promised me that Wonder War Project would never leave me behind, me or my family behind. Talk to me about um, going on different adventures, whether it be fishing, hunting, camping, um, sports events, and talk to me about his family. I'm thinking, you know, if this guy can do all this with one leg, what's my excuse? Why can't I keep going forward? What a great moment for you. What a great message and what a great man that was, or he is, I should say. Let's talk about the Wounded Warrior Project. It started back in 2003. It's helping millions of veterans. I mean, the impact is huge, Tracy. It is, it is. For the past 16 years, Wounded Warrior Project has been transforming the way wounded veterans are engaged and empowered in their communities. And we do this through over a dozen free programs and services that focus on on a family's financial wellness as well as their physical health and mental health and wellness. And James, you're in charge of the physical, pro I know there's many programs, but tell me about yours. I ha it has a lot to do with physical, correct? Absolutely. So our Soldier Ride, Adaptive Sports, and Physical Health and Wellness programs empower warriors through training and skill building. It helps them reduce stress, combat depression, and just get better in their lives. And they do so many of the sports, don't they? There's just something amazing about sports. The competitiveness, the camaraderie mm -hmm. helps warriors bond together, much like they did during their service time with their brothers and sisters. Tracy, you see the smiles in those pictures, in the video. I mean, you can, you can see or you can hope that that broken spirit is gone. Right, all of those positive attributes that James just mentioned are present when you play sport or get out into your community and are physically fit. And so we just hope to create those safety nets so that more warriors can do so. How important is it, Mark, to, to know that you're part of something where you know people care about you? You went through these programs. How much did they help you? If they have helped me tremendously um, from serving as part of a team in the military to serve to playing as a team, playing sports, and 
playing with an organization that treats you like a member of the team. It, it does so much to empower you and so much to get you to stand it on your own again, get you to help your community again, help your family again, help be a better person in general, just be, be there, so. That's fantastic. I mean, what you all are doing is great. Tracy, for anyone out there who would like information on how to help, and everyone should be helping our veterans, uh, where can they go? WoundedWarriorProject.org. It has the one-stop shop for all information you need. WoundedWarriorProject.org. And I'm not going to leave yet without you telling me how fabulous it is to be a daddy to baby girls, twins. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. So how has that changed your life? It's it's definitely brought a lot more joy into my life. It's brought a lot more love, a lot more just purpose. Ah, oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mark, for your service. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Thank Tracy. You so much. And happy Veterans Day to all of you. Of course, if you'd like more information on the Wounded Warrior Project, just go to our website, thebalancingact.com.